There really is one societal norm that you really should ditch if you want to enjoy your retirement to the fullest. That norm is caring what other people think, and particularly the naysayers, and altering some aspect of your life because of them. In this video, I'll share four ways that I've stopped following that particular societal norm. However, to all the naysayers out there, I say thank you for giving me the inspiration to create this video. I respect your opinion, everybody's entitled to an opinion, but I really don't give a f what you think. And at 63 years of age, I'm certainly not going to alter my behaviour because of the things you think, or the well-meaning advice that you give. I'm just a bit too old to be caring what you think. At 63, as I approach what I call my final quarter, I've decided to embrace what makes me happy and efficient, even if it means going against the grain. We're often guided by the unwritten rules that tell us how to behave, but today I'm going to share how I disregard that. I hope this video inspires you to consider what societal norms you can do without. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with clothes. I wear what makes me happy, and as you've probably noticed if you watch my videos, that's usually rock and pop t-shirts from the 1970s. I don't care if others think they're inappropriate for a man of my age. I enjoy them. They anchor me to a period of my life where there was no stress and lots of fun, my teens and my early 20s. Another factor for me is comfort. I like baggy t-shirts, stretchy-waisted joggers and cargo pants paired with a comfy set of trainers. After 20 years in the corporate world and wearing a suit and tie to work every day, that choice of clothing feels liberating. If stiffed collared shirts, ties, neatly pressed trousers and polished brogues are your thing, then that's okay. It's just not for me. But here's the thing. If you don't like my style, keep it to yourself because I don't like yours either. My t-shirts in particular are sacrosanct. As you can see today, I'm wearing my Ed Hardy t-shirt with a tattooed uh, man. Not quite sure what he's wearing, but he's a tattoo. He's an Ed Hardy tattoo. This particular t-shirt was bought 20 years ago on holiday with my young son and wife in the Ed Hardy store in Singapore. And I love this t-shirt. Whenever I wear it, it anchors me in that memory and I really do enjoy wearing it. Choosing comfort and what I want to wear over societal expectations has been liberating and I urge you to do the same. Wear what makes you feel good, what's comfortable and don't take any notice of what anybody says. The second thing I want to talk about is tattoos. I've got a couple of tattoos. I've got one on my shoulder, I've got one on my forearm and I'm planning on having quite a few more yet. These tattoos have got personal significance to me. I had them to remember family members who passed away and pivotal moments in my life. The death of my father, the birth of my son, and I plan on getting many more. Tattoos are often seen as rebellious or inappropriate for older people, but for me, they're a form of personal expression. So that's why I'll be getting more tattoos, each with its own story and significance. These tattoos serve as a daily reminder of what's important to me. Consider what forms of expression are meaningful to you and don't let age deter you from embracing them. Next up are my musical tastes. I enjoy the music of my youth. Even though I'm 63, I still love playing punk rock, glam rock, new wave from the 1970s. My favourite artist is David Bowie and I love The Jam, The Clash, The Stranglers, The Police, Blondie. And I don't care if you think I'm too old to be listening to that kind of stuff. It takes me back to my teens and early 20s, a time of stress-free living and fun. That's why I wear the t-shirts that are associated with those bands. And even though a commenter on one of my earlier videos said that they were totally inappropriate for a man of my age, I really don't care what you think. I like them and that's all that matters. I'm not rooted in the past though. I also like modern genres of music. I enjoy listening to hip hop and rap. I enjoy listening to indie rock. I don't do it to stay up to date. I just enjoy that kind of music. And that's my decision. That's my personal taste. If it's not right for you, then it's not right for you. But I don't need to hear your opinion on the matter. You can listen to what makes you feel happy and alive. And I'll listen to what makes me feel happy and alive. How about that for a bargain? The next thing on my list is routine. I don't know about you, but I'm fed up of all this advice from the larks of the world about how we should get up at 5 a.m., have an ice bath, a cold shower, start our day with meditation and morning journaling. Great, 
do it if you are a lark. But I'm an owl and there's no way I'm going to do it. Feel free to express your opinions, but you're not going to change my mind. I wake at 7am when the sun rises and in winter I set a clock to mimic the sun. And then I put her around for a few hours. I read the newspapers. I have a coffee first thing. And when I start to do a little work, that's usually in the afternoon or the early evening at the latest. That's my routine. It suits my body clock. So I'm disregarding the early bird brigade. No ice baths for me. No cold showers for me. No waiting two hours for my first coffee of the day. No early morning journaling for me. No thank you. It's never worked for me and I don't think it ever will. So I'm sticking to my routine. If it works for you, great, do it. The point being, set the routine to suit yourself and your own biological clock. My routine makes me efficient and happy. Find what routine works for you and stick to it. But don't listen to the naysayers who say you've got to be up with the lark to get anything out of life. It's just not true. To wrap this video up, I embrace what makes me happy and efficient, challenging the usual ways of doing things. Remember, you're not going to please everyone, so don't even try. Just make sure you please yourself. Ignore the naysayers. Don't make yourself unhappy by trying to please others. Wear what makes you content, what you find comfortable. Listen to the music that you enjoy. And if you must buy stuff, think twice about it, but buy stuff that gives you pleasure. Just make sure that it's not masking an underlying problem like the one I had in my 40s. The most important thing if you are over 50 is to live life on your terms, not somebody else's. If you'd like to learn more about the things to stop doing after retiring, then watch this video next. Thanks for watching.